Welcome to the Society of Amateur Radio Astronomers. This is Radio Astronomy, Constant Variables and Formulas. Lesson two, calculating the parabolic dish half power beam width. The beam width in an ideal pattern, as we see here, has the main lobe and the side lobes. On the main lobe, we got a maximum gain 3 dB down from that maximum gain, you see the width of the main lobe. That is where you measure the half power beam width. The formula for half power beam width is in degrees is equal to 70 degrees times the wavelength divided by the dish diameter. Let's do a couple of examples. If you have a one meter dish, and you're observing at frequency at 1420 megahertz. First thing you do is calculate, convert uh, your frequency to wavelength. Do that by multiplying C, speed of light, divided by frequency. That's equal to three times 10 to the eighth meters per second, divided by 1420 times 10 to the sixth per second. You notice the 10 to the six is related to the megahertz up here. That's equal to 0.21 meters. Plug that into the formula for half power beam width in degrees is equal to 70 degrees times 0.21 meters over one meter is equal to 14.7 degrees. Do one more example. Increase the diameter of the dish to three meters and change the frequency to 1260 megahertz. Go ahead and calculate your wavelength. Plug that in and equal to 0.24 meters. And your half power beam width is therefore 70 degrees times 0.24 over three meters is equal to 5.6 degrees. Notice that 5.6 degrees, if you calculate the gain using that same wavelength and uh, diameter, that the gain is also increased if you got a smaller beam width. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Join Sarah to start your hobby of amateur radio astronomy. Go to our website, www.radio-astronomy.org. Thank you very much.